Okay, folks, um, I had a lady come in, I, I guess you probably all know, I do work in retail, and I had a lady come in, and she was asking me how in the world to create a YouTube account so she could start responding to my videos. Well, first of all, if you go to www.youtube.com, you'll go to their main channel page, and you'll see a button right over here that says Create Account. Well, we're going to go ahead and click that button right there. And it'll take you to this screen. Now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to enter your first and last name here. And then you're going to choose a username. Now the reason I'm going to say this, when I tell you to create a username, when you're going on a YouTube, YouTube is not Facebook. I, I want to stress that over and over again. YouTube is not Facebook. You, oh well, these people they'll sit there and they say, well I got this Facebook account, I got 200 likes. Screw that. Okay, let me tell you something. When you get the, as many views as I've had on YouTube, I'm telling you what, YouTube is not Facebook. You will get far more quickly recognized and you will get a lot better responses on YouTube than you ever will on Facebook. Okay, there is a lot going on on YouTube that doesn't go on on Facebook and I'm telling you, if you keep thinking that YouTube is Facebook, you really, wow. Anyway, when you choose your Google username, this will not only create a username for your YouTube account, but it will also create one for Google Plus, and it will create one for Gmail. Okay, You will have to have Gmail because anytime that somebody comments on your videos or they comment on your channel, all of that information will be sent to your Gmail account. It will not be sent to any other account but Gmail. The only time YouTube will contact your personal email account is if you're there if they're having troubles with your Gmail, with your Google Plus, or with your YouTube. Other than that, anything else will go directly to your Gmail account. All right. Now the handle that you, see YouTubers go by handles. They don't normally go by name. I don't tell people, hey. Google my name, which happens to be Ted Hickox. I don't. I don't do that. I, I tell people Google the name Speed Learner. Why? Because it's catchy. People will remember that a lot better than my name. Okay. I, my name is short. That's fine. But they're not going to remember my name as quickly as they will remember my handle Speed Learner. Speed Learner is a catchy handle. It's a. It's a hip handle. It's. It's something that people will remember. They'll take it home with them. They'll, it'll be stuck in their brain. You want you want your Google accounts under a handle that people are going to remember because you want people to respond to you. Again, YouTube is not like Facebook. This will definitely attract attention. Guaranteed. And if you have a real catchy handle, people will respond to you. They'll they'll get you. They'll want they'll want to talk to you. Really. That's how all these people got so popular and so famous on YouTube is because they had a real catchy handle. Okay, So make sure that whatever you put in this username is a real catchy username because you'll want people to respond to you just as much as what you've been responding to me. Alright, then you're going to create a password. I would create a password that is really tough to crack mainly because you're going to be so popular on YouTube. Now some people will be extremely popular like I am. Some people won't be. Uh, some people won't be as popular. It just depends on how popular you want to be as to how popular you get. Um, so like I said it, it just it kind of depends. Uh, the more you do with YouTube the more popular you become. I was not very popular on YouTube until 2009 when I started uploading videos. Prior to that, I, I was kind of, yeah, they, some people knew about me, but it wasn't such a big deal. After 2009, my ratings started shooting up. Okay. Now, the next thing you'll want to do is you'll want to put in your birthday. Uh, month, day, year. You also want to put in your gender. Okay, Whether you're male or female, you want to put in your gender. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do, um, don't put in your mobile phone. If you don't want to be bugged by Google all the time, do not put in your mobile phone. Uh, if you do want to be bothered by Google all the time, go ahead. But if you don't, don't. Okay, now your other email address. This is so that 
Google can contact you directly if there are problems with your YouTube account, if there are problems with your uh, Gmail account, if there's problems with your Google Plus. Google Plus is a lot like Facebook. Okay, it's not exactly like Facebook, but it's a lot like Facebook. Okay, it says default home page. Set Google as my default home page. I would not do that. Uh, I personally like Yahoo better, but that's that's your particular preference. All right, now the next thing is a captcha. All right. Now the captcha is for uh, computer bots. This will prove that you're not a computer bot. A lot of people, a lot of people use computer bots to create a whole bunch of fake, phony accounts. We don't want that here. So this will prove once and for all that you're not some kind of a computer bot. Okay. Uh, your location. If you live in here in the United States, that's where you put that. Um, You'll have to agree to the terms and services of Google, and Google can personalize your YouTube and your face. Oh, not your Facebook. You can personalize your YouTube, your Gmail, and your Google Plus. Go ahead and agree to that. When you go to the next step, it will send a an email. It will send an email not to your Gmail. It might send it to your Gmail account, but it will also probably send one to your regular email account. Now that's what this will be up here. This email will be whatever you're using now, whether it be Hotmail, whether it be Yahoo, uh, whether it be MSN, whatever email you're using right now, that's what goes in here. Okay, You're going to be creating your Gmail account, but your other email will be like your Yahoo, your Hotmail, whatever. All right, And so what they're going to do is they're going to send an email to that. You're going to click it and you're going to confirm your account and boom, there you go then you'll be a YouTuber. And the reason why you have to do all this is that if you want to comment on my videos, if you want to um, leave a comment on my channel, that kind of thing, you have to have your own YouTube account to do that. So that's how you create a, a, a YouTube account. It's not really hard. I did it three years ago. You can do it too. All right. Now, for those of you who are having problems, I'm going to take a look here. Okay. Okay. Huh. I was hoping my handle would do this. Obviously not. Okay, let's try it this way. Alright. If you will type in Ted Hickox Facebook, you will find my Facebook page. And if you have any questions about uh, um, setting up your YouTube, you can ask me right there, and then I'll get you all set up. After that, and that's the only time I will respond to you uh, from my Facebook, is if you will actually ask me questions on how to sign up for YouTube. Other than that, any questions you have, post to my YouTube. I read my YouTube a lot more than my Facebook. I, I do play some Facebook games, but I don't normally... Um, do a lot of stuff on Facebook. Occasionally I'll post up a link from my YouTube to my Facebook, but most of the stuff that goes on on my Facebook, I just, I don't respond very well to people on, on Facebook. If you're, if you're asking me how to set up a YouTube account, that's fine, but other than that, I probably won't. I usually talk to people on YouTube. I spend a lot more time on YouTube than I ever do on Facebook. So, uh, like I said, if you have a question about how to do the, the YouTube setup, go ahead and get my Facebook page. Other than that, contact me on YouTube. I will respond better there, really. So, anyway, hopefully that will help you out. I will tell you more in a future video, so stay tuned.